Good evening, I'm Christine Martini. And I'm Matt Harris. Here's tonight's top story. Massive rains flooded parts of California on Friday and Saturday. It would have spread even further had the rain not gotten stuck on the 101. <laughs> the caption on Donald Trump's official inauguration poster has a typo, using the word to spelled T-O instead of T-O-O. -O. Commented <laughs> Press Ser Secretary Sean Spicer, Typo. It's T-O because T-O-O -O is not a word. <laughs> the dictionary lie! Fake words! Ah! <laughs> okay. A San Bernardino teacher was carjacked in his school's parking lot. Betsy DeVos is assembling a posse to hunt down the bear who did it. <laughs> the CDC says the flu vaccine is 47% effective this season which makes it 46% more effective than the Democrats. <laughs> One day at a time. Lamborghini is recalling thousands of supercars because of a fire risk, commented a Lamborghini owner. Ugh, this makes me so mad. I mean, how am I supposed to let people know that I have a tiny penis? <laughs> Except for saying it out loud right now. <laughs> <laughs> you think they'll figure it out? <laughs> You'd never guess, he's so tall. <laughs> Donald Trump said in a press conference Thursday that the media has treated former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn very, very unfairly. For instance, they've insisted on asking him questions in English instead of Russian. <laughs> Republicans in Michigan may want Kid Rock to run for the Senate, but only because it might keep him from making music. <laughs> and now where hard news meets Hollywood, here with the entertainment news is Lady Gaga! <laughs> Hello, my little monsters. I have jokes in my space. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Pitbull's new album will come out in March. It will be finished just as soon as he takes 12 songs from his other albums and gives them different titles. <laughs> the episode of Saturday Night Live hosted by Alec Baldwin had the highest ratings in six years. Also hitting a six year high, Donald Trump's blood pressure after watching it. <laughs> Thieves have stolen two million in jewelry from the home of Alanis Morissette, commented one of the thieves. Not only did we steal Alanis's jewelry, we got all 10,000 of her spoons. <laughs> <laughs> but all I needed was a knife. <laughs> Performed at the Grammys, experienced a 200% increase of downloads the day of the show. No word yet on what the artist did with their extra 38 cents. <laughs> While on tour in England, Drake offered to speak to a suicidal man threatening to jump off a bridge, commented Drake. I thought I'd try to make him feel better by showing off some of my terrible dance moves. <laughs> and finally, Kel Mitchell of Keenan and Kel is going to be a dad for the first time. It's the first time Kel has produced anything in 20 years. <laughs> Lady Gaga. I still think Kel is all that. <laughs> the winner of the Westminster Dog Show was named after an Adele song, but most people think the winner should have been the dog named after the Beyonce song. <laughs> Burger King restaurants in Israel celebrated Valentine's Day with an adult meal that included sex toys. And McDonald's in Israel celebrated Valentine's Day with a happy ending meal. Get it? 
Walmart is being sued for saying that their beer was made by a faked craft brewery. It marks the first time Walmart has sold a subpar product since always. <laughs> Men's Warehouse founder George Zimmer says that smoking marijuana for 50 years has helped change his life. Added Zimmer. <laughs> if you come to Men's Warehouse, you're gonna like the way you look. Off into space. And wonder about the meaning of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Reckitt Benkaiser, the company behind Durex Condoms, has purchased a company that makes baby formula. To help out with their new company, all, Re all Durex Condoms will now have a special feature, holes. <laughs> a seven-year-old in the UK wrote to Google asking for a job. Google immediately forwarded her letter onto an iPhone factory. <laughs> <laughs> Took a second, but we got there. A massive data breach at Arby's restaurants has given hackers financial information of hundreds of thousands of their customers. Customers are terrified that their loved ones will find out they eat at Arby's. 